Hi, my name is Sean Morris, and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. Uh, today we're going to be going into kind of more of a tech support problem, so this comes over from the guys from uh, that you'll be calling into. Uh, and this has to do with lost dialog windows. Uh, dialog window, uh, what I mean by that is anytime you go ahead and like click on something in SOLIDWORKS and one of these windows shows up. So uh, what does losing it mean? Well, basically what happens is sometimes you might move these onto a different screen. So for instance, I work on multiple monitors all the time, uh, but sometimes I actually do move off to being on different number of monitors or um, just my laptop. And if you've moved these dialogs off onto another screen, then what often happens is that uh, when you go down to your laptop, you don't see them anymore. And that's because those locations get saved by your registry. So this happens uh, quite often. You'll go into something like your system options or something. You'll go and click on it, and you don't see it. It doesn't show up because what's really happening is it's been saved on one of those secondary monitors. So um, you can see it is activated, um, is in there. If you get stuck in like this, uh, escape and enter still work as like, you know, okay and cancel and stuff like that. So you can at least get out of that. So if I hit escape, I'm back into here. So how do we reset that? Well, we have to go into our system registry and just reset that dialog position. So I'm gonna close SolidWorks here. And all I'm gonna do is go over to my little Windows start menu. I'm gonna type in regedit. And that's going to get me into this program that lets me uh, edit my registry. So uh, this is the Windows registry. We're going to be specifically messing with the SolidWorks one. Uh, this is something you do want to be careful with. You want to be, be uh, making edits in the correct locations. Otherwise, uh, you could cause issues on your actual computer here. Um, the location, if you find my blog here, you can find it through there as well. And where we're going to go is we're going to go into H key current user. We're going to go down to software. In software, we should see SolidWorks. Uh, if you have multiple years on here like me, then go find the year that you're interested in. So I'm going to go 2017. So SolidWorks 2017. And down even farther here, I'm going to go to user interface. And finally, dialogues. So the way a lot of these registry edits work is you just rename um, the registry that you're interested in and SOLIDWORKS will recreate that registry when it can't find it and then everything will be reset to uh, like basically the out of the box so I'm just gonna rename this one um, you could technically also delete it um, but it's much safer just to uh, rename it so that if you did mess up or something like that then you can go ahead and uh, still have the original one Okay, so that's basically all it is. Um, this first thing in the splash screen says loading registry. Um, basically just re remade that dialogues reg registry at this point. Um, when I open this back up, then we'll see that all of the dialog windows, all those menus should be back in the original locations, the default locations. So if I go ahead and hit options, we'll see it shows right up back in the middle of my screen here. Okie dokie. Um, one other thing before I sign off here. Um, in your registry itself, you should now have the uh, new dialogues. You still have that old version, so if you ever do any of this stuff, you can revert back to um, the original registry you have, and that's why we keep them here. Um, if you want to delete it at this point, uh, that's safe to do as well. Okay, well, thank you very much for uh, watching this little uh, tech tip is really what it was. Uh, uh, if you liked this or this is interesting or useful for you, please subscribe to our YouTube or our blogs here. Uh, thank you very much for listening and have a great day.